Sometimes things do not go well. That, that's self-evident. But here's the rub. Sometimes when things are not going well, it's precisely that which is most valued that is the cause. Why? It's because the world is revealed through the template of your values. If the world you are seeing is not the world you want, therefore, it's time to examine your values. It's time to rid yourself of your current presuppositions. There's a famous experiment that I've alluded to a couple of times, I believe, in this lecture series. The Invisible Gorilla Experiment. And in, in the Invisible Gorilla Experiment, there's two teams of players, each with three members, one dressed in black and the other dressed in white. And each team is passing a basketball back and forth to the team members and milling about. Um, you see a video of them doing so. They basically fill the video screen and the white team is passing a basketball to the white team members and the black team is passing a basketball to the black team members and your job, as, as far as the experimenter is concerned, is for you to count the number of times that the black, black team, yes, black team, passes the basketball back and forth. So that's what you do. So now you have an ambition and an aim and a value and the ambition and the aim and the value, they're all the same thing, and that is to perform well at the task. Now, the thing that's so cool about this, and this is really so cool, it's just unbelievably, it's just unbelievable that this is the case. It's like a complete validation of, of a certain element of the Buddhist worldview. Um, so they pass the ball for a couple of minutes, and then the experimenter says to you, how many, and you say 15, and because you're happy, and you're happy with yourself because you've been paying attention, and and the experimenter says, yeah, that's right, or maybe not, maybe you missed one. And then the experimenter says, did you see the gorilla? And half of you say, what, what, what gorilla? Like, really? And, he, and the experimenter says, yes. And then he rewinds it and plays the video, and like a minute and a half into the three-minute video, sure enough, in walks this guy in a gorilla suit, six foot three or so, stands in the middle of the game, right in the middle of the game, the same size as the players, perfectly, obviously evident, beats his chest for like a second and a half, and then sort of saunters off. And half the people who watch the video don't see the gorilla, uh, which is absolutely shocking. And what that means is that your ambitions blind you to the nature of reality. Now, they illuminate some reality, but they blind you to most of it. And that's fine, because you're not... There's not a lot of you in some ways. You're a very pinpoint thing, like a laser beam. And so you just can't be attending to everything all the time. But one of the things that you might ask yourself once you know that is that if you're suffering dreadfully, then one possibility is that you're so fixed on the point, you're so fixed on a point, the fact that you're so fixed on the point that you're fixed on might be integrally related to why things are going so catastrophically wrong. 